You're from Baltimore. From Baltimore. Now, tell me Born about your, your character, Ronnie. Ah, uh, yes. What do you got? <laughs> What's the genesis of Ronnie here? What do we have? Uh, well, Ronnie, have you ever spent any time in Maryland and in, in Baltimore? Uh, well, it's Balmer, isn't it? In, in, yeah, Balmer. And the O's, right? Oh, yeah. You ever been, ever, you ever been down Balmer? <laughs> yeah, Rich. What, how come the Ravens are only number three, yo? Okay, uh, plus number rankings? one. <laughs> right. Yeah. Number one should have been the Ravens. Number two, Browns, now that they signed Flacco. That's, 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 what, that's what should have been a rankings. <laughs> he looked good, Rich. Oh, my God, Flacco looked good. <laughs> I feel like I should start shopping at a Wawa. <laughs> that's Just uh, listening Philly. to you right now. Royal Farms. Oh, it, th- there was a Wawa in, uh, in Baltimore when I was there. No, they're encroaching. No. You okay. got to be a Royal Farms guy. Your best right. gas station fried chicken. So I screwed that up. All, all right, right buddy. so no, it's all right. I'll, I'll, <laughs> we'll 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 move on. We'll bounce back. No, but so so obviously you're a diehard Raven fan. I love right? the Ravens. They're so good this year. So did you go to like uh, O's games and, I and went Memorial to games. St- more Memorial Stadium? I missed Oregon. Memorial Stadium. I did. I got to play on uh, in M and T because I was I went to Poly Baltimore Polytechnic Institute and uh, the our big like rival was the Poly City game. And they would, and you got to play your, you know, it goes back like a hundred years. Yes. And uh, I, I have been, this is time for me to come clean. My name was read over the loudspeakers. They said, I played nose tackle, easiest position. You don't have to learn anything. Just push the guy in front of you. It was awesome. <laughs> I was, I was too dumb for plays. Right. Um, even which gap. And they said my name. They're like, Halkius with the sack. And everybody was clapping. My family was proud of me. I will admit right now the guy just got the wrong number. I never, I wasn't even on the field. <laughs> I wasn't even on the field and they said my name and I was like, nice. Oh, man. <laughs> Sounds like almost like Rudy, right? Yeah. Except he actually came up with the sack. Yeah. Right? No, I wasn't even in the game. But yeah, <laughs> it was awesome. Are you serious? You weren't I even on God, the field? I wasn't on the field, dude. I was, I was on the sidelines and I, and I heard my name and people were cheering and I had to like, shrink down so people wouldn't see that I, you know my friends in the stands wouldn't see <laughs> that i wasn't on the field. glory moment in, <laughs> yeah. for football yes. at mnt bank yes is when you were misidentified it's by like, the public address exa- it's like a it's like a monkey paw wish where it's like i want to i want to have a sack on the raven stadium and it's like you think you're going to be play for the ravens no you're going to be a second string defensive tackle and the guy reading is not going to be paying the guy on the pa is not going to be paying attention yeah oh my gosh but yeah i love the Ra- i do love the ravens and we're great we're awesome this year i th- you're damn straight you are lamar rules i'm so happy that he's you know i feel like just because he got hurt which is like this is football everybody mm-hmm. gets hurt everybody has to you know bounce back but i don't think he was getting enough credit i think he was getting looked over a lot and it's it's great to see and i feel like it's just starting to click because we didn't really support him. I don't know how you feel, but it's like, I don't think the Ravens in his took advantage of the rookie contract of Lamar. I don't think they put enough weapons around him. Well, what they did was, is we saw what he looked like in 2019. Right. Right. And we, and I think what we, we thought it would just be easy to replicate it. Maybe from fans, obviously I'm yeah. sure Harbaugh and the rest of the staff, there's like, get out of here. Right. But um, these, these are absolutely the best weapons he's, he's ever, ever had. had. Yeah. You know, and, and now of course, now Mark Andrews goes down. I do hope he does come back. I hope so. Because with all of that together, in this defense, Roquan Smith is exactly he's the so type good. of – He's like – he was born to be a Raven. It was – when that trade happened, it was like – Yeah. I was like, this is incredible. It's This is going to change things. It's on I've, brand. It's, it's on completely brand. on brand. We really needed him. And I also feel like him being there just made Queen better, too. Like, this just became an incredible – It's like he lifted up everybody else. Right. Um, and he's perfect. And our secondary – you got to hand it to those guys who just kind of like out of nowhere became a great unit. Well, that was Kyle Hamilton was, is a, is, Kyle is, is a, is awesome. a unicorn. He's incredible. He is a unicorn. Yeah. And, you know, in the making. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm with you, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm totally yeah. 100%. So is there – it's Baltimore Polytechnic? Is that what it is? Baltimore Polytechnic Institute. So That's did you, right. Baltimore Poly, So did you create the Baltimore Polytechnic Institute pipeline to UMBC? <laughs> I don't think so. Did you so. create that? No, the reason could, I did it – We could call it, it yeah. the Stavros pipeline <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm directly. Gonna take, you know what? Just like that sack, I'm going to take credit for that. You should. Even though I didn't do it. You should. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Rich, I did, as a matter well, of fact. Let's do the rest of the Ravens season. <laughs> oh, Let's yeah. Get, okay. Uh, okay. We'll get the, here's what we, we, we've got the schedule for you. Perfect. We'll put it up on the screen. I'll go week by week. I love it. And then Ronnie will tell me <laughs> yeah. how it's going to go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. Here yeah, we go. Uh, and let's give him some music right here as well. All right. Ronnie from Balmer. Hell yeah. Um, the home game uh, coming off the bye against the Rams. What happens? Um, I would say um, 
The Ravens win by 42 points, and uh, Matthew Stafford's knees explode. Okay, that's number one, yes. week 14. So now you're 10 and three <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, at the Jacksonville Jaguars on a Sunday uh, Sunday night. Jacksonville Jaguars. Um, uh, the Ravens win by, I would say, 38 points. Um, Trevor Lawrence retires early uh, <laughs> due to what. Uh, we had the defense has done to him. Okay, very good. Uh, that means his head too. That means he's coming back. Yeah, which yeah. Would be great. he's gonna come back, but back it'll be his last retired. game. Okay, very good. <laughs> Just only to be retired. <laughs> what to a be sad retired. story. <laughs> Eleven and three at the 49ers on a crit. By the way, this is Christmas night. Okay. So Santa will be all over the place. What? What? How will you spend Christmas, Ronnie? I what? will be. Um, I will actually be watching the game on my phone, and I will be uh, breaking in and stealing Christmas presents uh, from my neighbors. Um, <laughs> That's what I'll be doing while they're watching while the game. While they are watching so the game, you won't be watching I'll, the game. You'll be I'll, actually using the game to to, well, <laughs> to try and rob your neighbors. So here's the thing, Rich. Um, I will be having. Uh, I actually logged on to my grandma's internet and I use her um, uh, Sling TV, and so I will be watching the game off okay. my cousin's phone. Okay. But I will be going. Yes, I will be breaking in and taking. Okay. Um, you know, Xbox okay. and, sh- and stuff like that. And of course, so, but it'll so be B and E and then a W. It will be a B and E and a W, okay, exactly. Very good. Very and good. Brock Purdy will also retire and he will never play football again. Okay, then next up, uh, they are now, what, God, 10, 11, 12, 12 and 3, uh, taking on the Dolphins. Yeah, so uh, at the Dolphins, I'm actually going to sneak into the Miami Dolphins uh, locker room and I'm going to put poison inside of Mike McDonald's vape. And um, <laughs> he will take a really big uh, cloud. <laughs> And he will be thrown up everywhere. He'll forget all his plays. The Ravens are going to win 100 to 42, uh, three. Okay, very good. 100 to three. Oh, we won't hold you to the score. It's okay. Yeah. And then lastly, uh, wow, this would be incredible to go for a 14 and three season, a home for the Steelers. Right. So what's going to happen here, Rich, uh, without question, is actually the Ravens are going to win this game so much that the Pittsburgh, um, I call them the some else Berg squealers. Okay, they will actually be dissolved as an organization (laughs) due to the the beating that they take. Kenny only throws pickets. Um, He will uh, retire as well. And uh, Ah. the again, the Steelers will move. They'll become uh, they will move to Las Vegas. Wow. They will become the Las Vegas uh, gamblers. There we go. <laughs> That's quite a prediction. Ronnie mm-hmm. from Balmer predicting yeah. the, the rest We're of the— We're going to the Super Bowl, baby. <laughs> predicting the Ravens' final uh, games. I love it. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.